All right, we're going to do this at slow speed. Oh, this could get irritating real quick. Well, you can wait for me then. Oh, there's another one up ahead. I can see the red. You never know who might need it. In future. Kaveh might need it, or Baiju might need it. Not that I'm getting Baiju. Uh, what are these? Oh, I think she's about to tell me. Because she's waiting oh so patiently right there. The path ahead has been opened. You merely need to follow the floating far leaves down. Okay, but I want to get like that. <laughs> um, words of gratitude are not required. I didn't give you any. Oh, is this a new plant as well? Yeah, yeah morning flower. Hi, fish. I'm not fishing. Don't mind me. Ah! Mercenaries age notes too. I was just collecting something that was on the ground. I didn't realize it was going to be text. These notes look to have been abandoned here for many years, and the dry desert winds have made them brittle. The fact that they haven't been buried by the sands is quite odd indeed. The woman's fetal movements are growing stronger. She can no longer endure long treks, but they haven't given up. They want to continue north. But it, no, it can't be anywhere else, can it? They just have to go to the Vorukasha Oasis, which just so happens to have be another forbidden place. What's with this, like, long list of forbidden places? The nomads there may not welcome us with open arms. I warned them, but no, they wouldn't listen. Babel. If she's a girl, that's what they will call her. Interesting. So we're getting, like, her origin story? That's what he said. And it was only then that I noticed how the woman's eyes were beautiful, like dusk falling over an oasis. What are their names again? I didn't pay attention, because there's no need to remember, really. There is two idiots who will get themselves killed. That much is obvious. The woman is from Sage's family. As for the man, his station is more lowly. Maybe he was from the desert, too, some generations back. No wonder they came to the desert despite expecting a child. I've seen this plenty of times before. Reckless couples who disappear into the desert. The man went off on his own again. Nothing I can do about that. He's the one paying me, after all. But why am I the one who has to accompany the pregnant woman? So why did Babel and her partner come this way? While she was pregnant. Because she lost the child at some point, didn't she? I don't know if it was during pregnancy, post-pregnancy, or uh, when the child was a certain age. I don't really remember her history. I just know that her child died. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Sorry, I'm just going flower. Hi, fly flower gathering. I said, don't mind me. Oh, hey, turtle. Ooh. This looks <laughs> ominous. Very ominous indeed. Uh, gray crystals. Gray crystals are crystals left behind by the remnants of corruption. Use the powder of... Oh, okay. I need to um, get a thing then. Chavarena to clean them out. But once their power retreats, the gray crystals will re-emerge. Gray crystals are crystals left behind by... Okay. I'm a little confused, but that's okay. I can't do anything about it for now. Should I, should I mark that as a spot on my map? A to come back here at some point when I get the things. I hope you don't attack me, Mr. Turtle. I'm just here stealing the flowers that you probably use as breakfast. Oh, he just turtles up. Smart. I'm back. Oh, you actually want me to go through that? This place too has been occupied by the dev. These monsters move. Something's going something. It seems some sign of a power shot must be extinguished. I swear by my sword. Back to ashes. Wait, is there a, 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 a mage there? Deadness. 
Yeah, too bad I have an electric party. What do you mean by dev? Aren't these just abyss mages and healer shells? To think you would so easily defeat the rampaging dev. Your strength is most radiant indeed. Consider me impressed. Though there is still quite the gap between you and us party, the sight of you fighting valiantly reminds me of those humans of legend who once fought alongside us. I have decided then. You shall have the honour of being my Yasnapati. Yasnapati? Paimon doesn't know what that is, but coming from you, it can't be anything good, really. Do you not have such things amongst humans? Strategists, scribes, and the like? Those who exist to praise the heroes whose stories they exist in? Oh, honey, that is not my role in life. Neither of those jobs are what you just described. No matter how great the hero, their great deeds must be recorded and sung above by others. If not, the same fate that befell ancient heroes shall before them also. <clears throat> Though they may have loved violence and conflict, great deeds are still great deeds, and they deserved to be remembered. <sighs> Alas, those who loved conflict would be consumed by it, and once they have slain each other, they were all lost. And because of that, there were no authors or poets to tell of their deeds. Once all who had lived in such times were gone, their works forgotten to the last. I will not be like them. My great work shall shine so gloriously that the world itself will suffer great loss to not know of it. Thus, I shall now give you permission to record those deeds. Rejoice and give thanks, for is this not a grace that few receive from us, Pari? This all sounds very complicated, but basically you just need someone to tell you how awesome you are, right? I'm interested, thanks. Sounds like an alright gig. Couldn't you find a skeptic to help you out here? The skeptics? I may admire their spirit, but other than their leader, whom you mentioned previously, the rest are not fit for such work. They speak- are there any other Pari, by the way? Or are you, like, literally it? So when, like, you go kill yourself to get rid of the, uh, son of a Pausha, what happens when the next one comes out and there's no other Pari to deal with it? They speak all day of how conflict is the true nature of this world, but they have themselves lost all ability to engage in such. None of them will have be able to bear witness to my sacrifice- None of them will be able to witness my sacrifice to its end. Whatever the case, it has been decided. Fret not, you shall be free to do as you please once I have sacrificed myself to restore the pure skies. Till then, you shall witness my valiant form. Well, sure, even if Paimon can't see it. Ha <laughs> ha, Paimon can't see her valiant form. Oh, well, wow, it's rough. She looks pretty cute, but her attitude's just the worst. Indeed it is. Wow, this stuff is everywhere. Oh, we're going to go past it anyway. Alrighty. Wait, why do we have to go? Why do we have to take that route, you twit? I was basically just getting ahead of myself. The path here is now dotted with grey crystals. When I last left it, it was not yet so. Grey crystals? You mean the crystals we're seeing everywhere? Someone's had her eye on them for a while now. What are they? Grey crystals are remnants of the Blackfire's embers. What's the Blackfire? Proof that this land has suffered great calamity. Indeed, I am sure you've heard that a great catastrophe struck long ago, where dark fire rose from beneath the earth and scorched the land. The dark fire opened a bottomless hollow in this land, and the demons of Dev that crawled through that gap nearly turned this into a lightless realm. Though the gap was blocked by the great tree, the dark fire's filth spread like seeds, and the countless dark and painful memories, released by that corruption, began to lay down roots and sprout. This persisted till the honoured land of Lord of Khaverana, Khaverana, the divine bird Simurgh, drank the primordial... I'm so confused now. Just because the they're using Lord for the dude before, starting with N, yet now they're using Lord to refer to the bird. It's all getting very confusing, but okay, I'm with you. You're not referring to two people, you're just referring to the bird. Drink the primordial water left behind by our god, before transforming herself into Khavarena of all kinds and scattering across the land. From the day on, the Khavarena has taken the divine bird's place in defending this land, and those painful memories that leaked out have been sealed by Khavarena. What? I sometimes question the naming conventions in this game. It's one thing to name things inherently 
to the kind of culture you're going for. But it's another thing to name something, a word that most of us aren't going to be able to pronounce. Because you've got to think about this game. It's originally in Chinese. I don't think Chinese people are going to be able to do because that's not an inherent sound to the language. I don't think the Japanese are going to be doing it, which is a secondary language for this game. I don't think the Koreans are going to be able to do it because that's another language of this game. And then we have English. None of us of the four main languages of this game, none of us have a sound as an integral sound in our vocabulary. So we're having a next to each other. It is freaking difficult for us to pronounce because it's just not native and I know that they don't have to cater to the native pronunciations because it's meant to be in a foreign land like I get all the arguments but generally speaking you want to put words and names in your games that most of your audience are gonna be able to say and pronounce and I find that they've kind of lost their way a little bit once we've hit Sumeru a lot of their shit is really hard to pronounce with the the way that the syllables are or the, the consonants are all on top of one another. I just wish that they did look at that and just try to make things that are more pronounceable to the average person. The gray crystals in the area have increased of late. I suspect that this must have something to do with the sign of Pasha's dark power. But if we use Kavarana's might, we might, no, we can get rid of these crystals. If my senses do not deceive me, a wandering Kavarana should be nearby. Let us look around. You don't mean the turtle, do you? Use the power of Kranola, okay, but how do I. What? 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 Incoming! Hey! <coughs> so they're just dendro balls, essentially. The crystal melted. Okay, little dendro balls are what we're looking for. Well then, I did not mistake, speak, did I? This Chavarana wards the Great Earth. Is that silly getting beaten up by these dudes? The cultivation grounds of the Order of the Skeptics... Something, something, something. Oh, well, I can get that off my map now, can't I? What are you doing to that Sealy? Leave it alone. Don't bully it. Speed of light. Huh? With sword comes shadow. <laughs> Should replace my hammer. I don't think your hammer's gonna help you right now, sir. Not bad, as far as treasure is concerned. Hey, can I help you now? Oh, hold on, excuse me. Nah, it's just food. Never mind. Oh, but there's a flower over here. That's <laughs> no, just a wheat. Look, someone is going to need this as a lot of material, alright? I don't know who, what, where, or why, but someone is going to need it. So we should grab everything we see along the way. Come and see, Oh. Go to the training grounds of the Order of the Skip. <coughs> Dicks. <laughs> Ugh, sigh. More food. Oh, I didn't even notice the glowing flowers. Neat. I'm curious about that passageway, though. Oh, hello? Where'd the Sealy go? Oh, there you are. Okay, nothing gained by going down that way? Nope. Nah. I'm living in the vain hope of artifacts. I seem to be in very vain hope at present. I like these. These are pretty. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No flowers? Nope. Talk to the leader of the skeptics. That's everything. 
On to the next. You look like someone I can talk to at some point. Maybe not. What is that in the top right? Don't know. Hello, you do not seem to have much of a population here. Lord Su Lady Sarouche, Havarana Zemvoy, you have returned. Though it has taken much work on my part, the analysis of documents regarding the right of Shinvats will soon be complete. I find it okay. This is the this is the problem I'm having right now. These people are from a branch of the academia from 500 years ago. Why has the uniform not evolved in all that time? You cannot tell me that in 500 years, somebody would not have changed a detail of this outfit. Why is it identical to the normal academia outfit? Or if at least it, it looks identical. If it's not, then the differences aren't noticeable enough to me. But it looks the same as a normal academia's outfit. God, now I'm doubting myself and I have to go look. Uh, I actually can't find my answer online. <laughs> Just briefly looking, I can't find any official art that shows this top bit. I can find fan art that has the top bit of, the, that has this entire outfit, but I can't find any official art. So I can't tell if it is the same or not. It looks familiar, therefore I think it's the same, but, but maybe it is, it is different. And now I'm doubting myself. My first instinct upon seeing it was that it was the same, but now because I can't find any official art, I don't know. Because the one that I can most commonly find is just like a really narrow vertical pattern. I don't know. But in any case, you really need to have different outfits from the rest of the academia. Though this back does not look familiar, I must say. I don't know. Now I'm just doubting myself. I hope it's different. Because <laughs> otherwise that's just weird. According to my research, we need only collect all the great songs of Havarana next, and your great work may then be completed. Wait. There's a great tear in the sky. She needs to sacrifice herself to do it. But she can't just go and do it. She has to follow this long and lengthy process first in which she gets the strength. To do it. So why haven't you done this before that the rift appeared in the sky? Why have you not already collected the great songs of Havarana next? Why have you not? You've had 500 years to do this research. Why haven't you done it before now? Okay, I guess these people are just too stupid to live. Wait a moment, you two are. Do not fret, the Elunara and Paimon, my newly chosen Yasna Party and her companion. They are here to witness my great work. Hey now, Paimon hasn't agreed to that yet. A Yasna Party, you say? Though I will not question your most astute judgment, I fear that allowing ignorant outsiders into this land before the rite of Shinvats is complete may have untoward effects. Know that the people of the academia surely do not desire the rite's completion. Well, actually, they would if it's what gets rid of the thing in the sky. Speak no further. I have my reasons for doing this. Well then, take the drum from before out, Lunara and Paimon. You bring the drum out, as agreed. A Corabantes. A Corbanthas, you say? <laughs> yes, this is an important catalyst for the ritual needed to forge a lau lopa between ourselves and the Pari. Wait. So not only have you known that you would have to do this ritual for a whole 500 years, because it would... There's a chance it could have come back. So instead of preparing, you've done fuck all 500 years. So you've not gathered the songs that you apparently need to help close this portal. You also needed a drum of special descent for this ritual. And why haven't you looked for one in the last 500 years or made one in the last 500 years? I really just like, would like to question what you've been doing all this time. Because clearly you haven't been focusing on the important things. I have searched for many years for this, and to think it now comes to me. Ah, oh, this is indeed a good omen for my future plans. But yeah, what about your predecessors? Do they just stick with their thumbs at their ass for 500 years? It'd be good if the fates would also be with me when I laid the order of skeptics to throw down the academia and burn the house of Dana, or whatever they call it, to the ground. And this is the other thing that really annoys me about life. This guy has a beef with the academia Purely because one of his ancestors 500 years ago had a beef with them. Bruh, it has nothing to do with you. Nothing. 
So get over it. It's got nothing to do with you. It's not your problem. It isn't even a problem in this day and age. Move on and do something constructive with your life. And you do realize that you as a one-man army are not going to be able to burn down a, a, a national institution, right? You are, it just, I'm just trying to question your intelligence level here because that seems like a really bad idea, especially considering you've never even met anybody from there. Wow, what a way to casually paint yourself as a villain, huh? Villain? Ha! <laughs> the Academia are the true villains here, have no doubt of that. Ah, oh, I forgot my introductions. I am Nasajunna, the Vijnana Party of the Order of Skeptics. We who cultivate ourselves here. If you would use the terminology of the Academia, I would be the equivalent of a sage. But I doubt those pampered folk would care much for what we at the margins call ourselves. You'd sever your cells from the academia 500 years ago. At least from what I've heard. I mean, truth could be different. But from what I know, you've cut yourself off from them. And then yet yeah, you're all like, why would they care about us? It's like, well, you turned your back on them first. Unless I hear otherwise. You do not look much like those the academia might send. Wait, is passing adventurers. We did take a commission from them, sure. And so you were aware of them after all. But it matters not. Yeah, actually, I helped revolutionize the academia. <laughs> Even if the entire Core of 30 were to be sent here, my plans could not be halted. So you're saying the Core of 30 existed 500 years ago. Okay. Well, whatever your plans are, we didn't come here to stop them, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> so they would all say, those treacherous lads from the academia. And when my guard is down, you would stab me in the back. Just like those people in funny masks who try to skulk around and steal our academic tomes. They even dared to attack our honoured envoy of Havarena, Lady Sarouche. Do you mean the Eremites? Oh, the Fatui! <laughs> and they met defeat at my hands, each of one of them. I'm guessing those were the Fatui? The Fatui? I know not of what you speak, but they were city folk, so I doubt the academia would be far behind in the shadows. Oh, you poor, ignorant fool. You kind of need to understand how the world works to know your enemies. And then you would know that the two are not the same thing. I mean, but kind of ignore the fact that Il Torre was totally, like, fucking shit up at the academia for so long. Ignoring that. In the current state of things, academia is one thing. Fatui's are foreigners. Get that in your head. Do not look down upon us as some miserable few who inhabit the Tamir Mountains. There's not really much of a mountains here, I'm just going to say, that I've seen thus far. We once had such numbers that all the desert north of Mount... Demavand would struggle to hold us. Well, what the fuck happened to your population? I see two of you at the moment. You and the person across the way. What happened to your population? It is only because of a harsh environment and the slander and ostracism by the academia that we have been reduced to this. If it was not for such sage souls as myself holding things together and the protection of Havarena, we skeptics would have been reduced to nothing long ago. Sounds like quite the disagreement, yes. Catherine said that you have your differences, but it sure looks to Parman like your skeptics really hate the academia. Say not hate, but rather that we simply cannot coexist. But why? They're a research institution. How can they not coexist with anybody else? When I was young, I did go there to learn in an attempt to mend our differences, but they treated me like an outsider. So you have been there. Wait. You've been to the academia. But you don't know what the house of Dana, shit, whatever that place is called. You don't know its name, even though you would if you'd been there. And you would know that the Fatui come from a different land if you'd been there. What did you learn when you went there? It sounds like you didn't pay attention to any of your surroundings. Was your head in the sky? Or was it up your ass? And they treated you like an outsider. Well, did you act like an outsider? Though they feign politeness by calling us a branch of the academia, this is naught but a means to belittle us. Huh? Ignoring the feign politeness. So they're calling you a branch of the academia, which you were 500 years ago. You're saying that's belittling to you? But it's what you are. Question mark? It is said that our predecessors had a clash of ideals with them, and so chose to go into the desert to stand against the darkness themselves. From that day on, we have been holding firm in the war against defilement, defending our land, and what have those useless louses been doing in the meantime? 
Well, I have to wonder how that original disagreement went about, and if any overtures were made in the years since. Compared to those pampered pedants who combine thought, word, and deed, far better deserve... Oh, we who combine deserve honour for our wisdom. You're not seeming very wise right now, so you're seeming pretty damn stupid and short-sighted. Uh, Bama doesn't quite get it. You need to only understand that conflict is the true nature of this world. Yeah, I think you're getting the wrong lesson from this. And maybe your combative attitude also had something to do with the problems at the academia. Havarena, in a purity. Dari would in the true way. It is these struggles for supremacy that have kept this world alive, just as surely as the sky does. Yeah, nah, the world is living because of the world tree. The Iramansul? Just point that out to you, sir. Those sophists in their fancy darshans believe that the fates of all are inscribed in the skies and that this is the supreme wisdom and truth. But look, the skies reflect defilement itself. Surely their truth, then, is an imperfect thing. Perhaps nothing is truly perfect. This logic seems a tad messy. I'm, yeah, I, your logic is just... What's, what's the name for it? There's a name for his logic right now. I don't remember what it is. Only those who dare to refute the truth can gain true wisdom. It seems that such courage is not found in you. You're going in really weird circles. And, and making connections where there aren't any. Just to comfort yourself, sir. Nasariah, this is not the time to talk about such things. Have you not seen how the great crystals hem us in ever more tightly? If we do not extinguish the sign of a pouch soon, things will shall grow most perilous indeed. Well, speaking of a sign. All right, that's right. We're tasked to fix this whole thing. But after all this talking, we still don't know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> well, our plans also involve extinguishing that celestial mark. As for what it is, if it must be described as anything, let us call it the water's surface. What water? The water's surface? Your explanation is just making things more confusing. The water's reflection. While an illusion, nonetheless hides the truth within itself. So it is with the skies. It is like a mirage, if you have seen those before. Bruh, you're speaking English, but you're not speaking English. What? What do you mean water's reflection in the sky? Water is not in the... Well, there's rain, but we're not talking about that. Your explanation sucks. Uh, the big hole up there is way spookier than any mirage. Well, it should be. For that celestial sign reflects an otherworldly hellscape. It looks like pretty purple shit. I wouldn't say it looks like a hellscape. Then again, I haven't been close to it. Long, long ago. Dar oh, Dari is your name for Kanria. Why do you call them something else? If everyone knows they're Kanrian and everybody still calls them Kanrian, including themselves, why are you so special and call them Dari? I'm not going to get an answer, am I? Once built a facility here that connected them to realms beyond. During the great disaster, which they said the Dari started, monsters swarmed from that very facility into the nations of the world. The monsters tore up in a great rift that came to be called the Tunigi Hollow. And though they were sealed away with the new vein of the ancient tree, its mysterious sign appeared along with that. What the sign reflects is that, is that which lies beyond the dark rift. <clears throat> Now, the monsters cannot enter to that through that illusion, and nonetheless radiates corrupt energies. They say that our very first Vijnanapati extinguished that strange sign together with the Pari. But as the sun... I always read the next line. But as the power of impurity has strengthened over time, this ancient symbol has appeared once more. And we should leave it be. And should we leave it be? Who knows? That hollow may truly re-emerge one day, and that ancient war will be reenacted. In truth, it might be interesting to live in such exciting... Exciting, he says. Barah, it was a fucking calamity. It killed a great deal of the population on this planet. Realm. World. And you call that exciting? Wow, you need to liven up your life a little bit. What? No, that wouldn't be interesting at all. It matters not. Samarak drank the Amrita left behind by our god, transmuting herself into limitless Havarena. As he heirs to the divine bird, solving this problem... How... I'm assuming you don't mean biologic... Are you meant to be a bird? Because you don't look like a bird. Therefore, you can't mean biological air. You have to mean, like, symbolic airs. 
Solving this problem is the mission that we party have. I, Sarush, will surely leave behind a work great enough to be her equal. Of course, of course, Khavran is envoy, and we of the Order of Skeptics shall surely help you see your duty through. Uh, what's with all this talk about sacrifice? Is that really necessary to solve this problem? Well, in truth, I do not know. All documents regarding the sign of a pasha have long been lost, and the traditions and rites surrounding it have also ceased to be passed down. Well, gee, that sounds like an oversight of your people. Okay, okay, okay. So you want to have a beef with the academia for God knows what, 500 years ago. You want to have a beef with them for simply not, I don't know, not helping. I don't know. But you and your people who had the knowledge to fix this problem decided it wasn't important enough to pass down to future generations. Who out of the two groups do you think is the villain right now? I think it's your side. If it had not been for me constantly looking up what documents were left, there might not have been any more left to know that the right of Shinvat existed at all. According to my research, the Pari are the descendants of Simurgh and should therefore also have the power to transform into Khavarana to purify the land. Okay, these theoretics are not going to work for me, sir. Theoretically, she might have the ability to transform into this dendro-looking bullshit to close the hole in the sky. Should. You're sacrificing her life on a should. That ain't right. And you don't look like a bird to me still. I'm, I'm going to stand on that. that I'm going to die on that hill. You're not a bird. And would you not say that a grand sacrifice to save the world on part of the divine bird's heirs very much suits our order's style? Well, if you all want to go, you know, kill yourselves, go right ahead. Like, pff, who am I to stop you? If you're so insistent on it. What? That's so haphazard. This sacrifice you're talking about doesn't sound like a small thing either. Why aren't we thinking of other ways to solve this issue? I'm not sure there's going to be some alternative. Right, Lino? It's always been this way, hasn't it? I'm very good at my job after all. <laughs> oh, to say that to someone who doesn't even know us. Oh, it's hilarious. I already said that you need not interfere. Simply witnessing my sacrifice shall suffice. Oopsies, that was Sarouche. It is something worth celebrating that we parish should sacrifice our lives to purify the earth. It, it, it really isn't, but you know, don't let me stop you. <laughs> well, you say that, but... I would ask you to keep a respectful distance from that which you do not comprehend, outsiders. But since this is the case, well, I was planning to investigate the Tunigi Hollow to make preparations for the Rite of Chinvat anyway. Why don't you come along? I trust that you also wish to see the scars left behind by a fissure that once led beyond our world's bounds. When you see it, I believe you shall understand. I doubt it. Because even the English words you've been using thus far don't make sense to me. So I don't think just looking at something is going to magically make me comprehend. Well, Palmer is kind of curious. A sound plan. In that case, I shall lead the way. After all, you would find it impossible to freely traverse this land where Khavarana battles against impurity. My Yasna party, follow me to the end. Watch me complete my mission. Yeah, nah, I want no part of that.